Welcome to the Ultimate Gaming Realm, and this is your creator, Dixon, logging on. Elevator Action is a 2D platform action shooter released in the arcades in 1983 from Tato Corporation. Elevator Action does sound like a real innovative title, and for what the game is, it's an innovative action adventure game where you are a spy infiltrating a 30-story building filled with elevators, stairs, and doors. And not to forget to mention, bad guys. You start at the very top of the building and then work your way down, shooting agents that get in your way and looking for red doors that contain important documents. Then after retrieving the documents, then you must escape by getting to the bottom floor to your car. And then, take off. Elevator Action Arcade Machine was an upright cabinet, which that mode's useless, so I don't see the point of having two players, as they're not going to have two-player cooperative. For a game released in 1983, I find the game pretty controversial. Like when you shoot an agent in the face, for some reason I have an imagination when a bullet hit an agent, especially in the face, it looks like blood squirting out. I know the bullet is red itself, but still when the bullet connects to an agent, it looks more like a direct brutal hit. Which I find my imagination quite intriguing, and to tell you the truth, I love it. Elevator Action is a fun game, but if you lose all your lives, there are no continues. And I don't think this game has an end anyway. Elevator Action was original and quite impressive, and it still holds out to this day. It was a popular arcade hit that eventually made it onto home computers and home consoles. And the arcade port of the game can be found off of Tato Legends compilations for PC, Xbox, PlayStation 2, and PlayStation Portable. And the 1983 Elevator Action game was also included as a bonus with Elevator Action Deluxe, which is a remake of the 1983 game, exclusively released on the PlayStation Network for the PlayStation 3 in 2011. And I was playing the original Elevator Action game from the Elevator Action Deluxe game on the PlayStation 3. Now while we're at it, let's take a quick look at the Elevator Action Deluxe. Elevator Action Deluxe was released in 2011 exclusively as a download on the PlayStation Network on the PlayStation 3 for $10. I guess you can consider Elevator Action Deluxe as a remake of the 1983 game. Still a side scroller, but these awesome pixelated graphics that we have back in the day was replaced with this ridiculous looking cartoonish graphics. But Elevator Action does have selectable characters, including the main default character from the 1983 game. And the Deluxe Edition also has all sorts of new interesting tricks like hiding behind the door and waiting for an agent to come by so you can slam the door in their face. You can also upgrade your weapons. And once you complete a level, these levels become selectable. Now, Elevator Action Deluxe was a $10 game when I bought it. But back then, since I read the description that it had the original 1983 version included, I totally went for it. Now, the verdict on Elevator Action Deluxe. Well, the game itself is okay, and it does have some new original ideas. But these ugly cartoonish graphics, repetitive gameplay, and the gameplay physics pretty much ruins it for me. So the deluxe version is not a good remake. But it's kind of recommendable if it's on sale, mainly for the access of the original 1983 game. Now I'm not finished yet, because I haven't mentioned the awesome sequel to Elevator Action. 
which came out in arcades 11 years later. Elevator Action Returns, a.k.a. Elevator Action 2. Which is another downfall about the Dulux Edition is that they didn't include this awesome sequel. Probably because the sequel is more violent. Now Elevator Action Returns focuses on special forces eliminating a terrorist threat. Elevator Action didn't make it onto video game consoles in North America until Tata Legends 2 compilation came out for the PC and PlayStation 2. Hopefully Elevator Action Returns will become available as a standalone download for Steam, PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and Switch. Because that one was one of my favorites. Not to forget to mention Elevator Action Returns can also be a two-player cooperative game, which makes the game even better. Well, that's pretty much it for my knowledge on Elevator Action games. And I do apologize about some of the popping noises at the beginning, because I wasn't using the filter until I got into the Elevator Action Deluxe part. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again in my future videos. Till next time, this is Dixon of the Ultimate Gamer, I'm logging off.